Okay, in the following video, I'm going to be changing the brake hose on a 1997 Nissan truck. But this can be used on a lot of vehicles. But, warning, if you don't know what you're doing or have doubts in any way, then don't do this. Because if you mess up on your brakes, your vehicle may not stop. And that could be a bad day for you or somebody else. So it's best to avoid that altogether. Now, why did I do it? Because I knew I could, first of all. Second of all, I paid $21 for the brake line, a couple of dollars worth of fluid in it. And I was good to go. So for under $25, I had it fixed. Where if I brought the mechanic, it probably would have been over $100 for 15 minutes of work. Okay, in this video, I'm going to change this brake line with a new one. I've got the truck jacked up a little bit. But basically, I just turned the wheel and I got access to it. I broke that loose a moment ago and then decided to make a video. I got a pail to catch the oil. Whenever you take this out, the oil's going to run out of your reserve here so I'll have to put oil back in that and then have it primed up so you'll hear me say a mash it that's telling the other person to mash it and let off of it okay what I'm doing now is setting the camera to see everything okay so things first taking this off now I've got a ratchet wrench so I can take it off pretty quick the ratchet wrench okay there's a washer on both sides of this. Take that off of there, which I don't need to take it off because this hose is old. There's the other washer. But I have to remember to put them back on the new one. Got to keep the bolt. Alright, now, you go up here with the screwdriver or something to pull that off. But, you want to take your hose loose first. Okay. Your hose is loose. Now you can pop this out. Now you can use a lot of stuff. You can use vice grips, pliers, whatever it takes to get that out of there. Pull your hose out. Now your hose is slotted to where it only going one way. There's my old hose. I'm going to take my new hose. I'm going to put it up in there. Make sure everything looks right. It does. Got to find that slotted area. Come on, where you at? There's one, but is that the right one for the hose? Yeah. So we got it worked back up in there. We can go ahead and stick this in. And make sure everything looks right. And you want to wiggle it around to make sure it's in the center. Okay. I'm going to take this, slide it back on there. Give it a little push. Tap it in there. Okay, it's in there. Another wiggle just to make sure. Tighten it up. You don't want to tighten it too much. You just want to give it a good snug. I'll give it a little wiggle just in case there's a piece of grime or something and the thread messing with it. That way you'll know it's bumped over it. Okay, take my bolt, put a washer on it. The washer to come out the kit, of course. 
put it through the hose. Put the other washer on it. And then install it. Now, got to make sure it's in that groove that's supposed to be at to keep from turning. And it is. Okay, then you lock it down. It'll stop leaking. Okay, now it's tight, but I like to give it a little bump. So now your hose is on. I'm going to go up top and pour some fluid in it, but first I'm going to get this ready. Come on. Okay, loosen that up to where it can breathe. I'm going to pour some fluid in the top. We're on one again. On my finger over it. Mash it. Alright, let up on it. Mash it. Alright, let up on it. Mash it. Let up on it. Mash it. Alright, let up on it. Mash it. Okay, the fluid's coming out now. Mash it. Let up on it. Mash it. All right, let up on it. Hold up. Check the fluid level. Okay, still good. Mash it. Let up on it. Now, let me tighten this back down. Okay, mash it. Let up on it. And that's it, folks. Then you you check the top again right here to make sure there's enough fluid in there which there is put your cap back on and that's it okay just a reminder about this some of these have multiple chambers this one right here has a single chamber uh, it could split in the chambers usually they have a front and a back you know and they'll have a, a divider in there so you may be looking at one part and the other part actually be empty. So make sure it doesn't run out of fluid while you're doing that. Now it, it may do it, depending on how long it takes you to change the hose, the fluid may run out of it. If it does, you know, you put the hose on, on there, get everything secure, and then you start bleeding it like I did. But it's going to take longer because there's air in the line. You just keep putting fluid in it and uh, bleeding it the way I do. Ha have it pump, have somebody else mash the brakes and stuff like in the video. And uh, even after oil starts coming out have them mash it about 10 more times now when they're mashing it they're not stomping it they're not mashing it super fast just shh down 
and then let it come back up. You're not trying to force anything. Um, but even after the fluid comes out, it's like I say, you want to, to verify. So you got to pump it, you know, a good five more times just to make sure there's not air bubbles still in the line. And that's one reason you don't want it to run out because you have to do a lot more of that. But if you're unsure, again, just let somebody else do it. It's better to be safe than sorry when we're talking about brakes.